Welcome. This video intends to demonstrate the commonly used networking commands in a Windows 10 command line interface. The first command we should be looking into is the IP config, and this is used to check the current IP settings of the machine. Depending on the computer, you may have multiple adapters or just the one adapter. In this case, the system is running a VMware workstation, so there will be several uh, Ethernet adapters on the machine. The one that we should be looking at is the wireless LAN adapter, Wi-Fi in this case, because this is a laptop, and that's the one that is active at the moment. So things where you can look at the basic ipconfig IP config command is the default gateway, which is the IP address of the router, in this case, that is providing the connection to the internet. The IP version 4 address, 192.168.0.155, in this case, you have the local IPv6 address as well and also the subnet mask that is used for uh, bigger networks when you have subnetting involved. If you want to get more details about the connections, you can use the ipconfig slash all command and that will display uh, quite a few more details that are very useful for troubleshooting purposes. So for example, as you can see, now we have information ad about the network adapter. In this case, it's a killer wireless adapter. We have the what's called the MAC address of the network card, uh, which is called physical address. We can check if the DHCP is configured or not, which is the service that is used to get an IP address automatically from the DHCP server. We have the auto configuration enable flag that also works with the DHCP. We have link local IPv6 address. If you have, if you're using IP version six, you have the IP version four address, which in this case you see that's the preferred option. Subnet mask. And now we talk about lease. Lease is a terminology used for DHCP because you got an automatic IP address configuration from the DHCP server, and that configuration has a duration. When the lease expires, it will have to renew the IP address with the DHCP server. That is a mechanism that is in place so that IP addresses are not granted permanently on a DHCP server configuration. Uh, we have the default gateway, as it was mentioned before, it's the IP address of the router, and it's called default gateway because that's what the TCP stack uses to send all the outgoing um, requests for um, sending data to systems that are outside of the network. So if it's enabled, to get the information on the local network, it will send that to the default gateway, expecting the default gateway has the necessary information to forward that package out of the local network. And a good example for that is the internet. Uh, once again, we have the DHCP server address, which is the one that provided the IP address configuration for this machine and some uh, rest of the information about that DHCP server. We also have the DNS servers uh, that are configured, which are the servers that are tasked with the translation of a domain name to an IP address. So in this case, for example, if my machine needs to go to the internet and needs to know who is that uh, www.google.com, for example, it will ask one of these DNS servers and they will return the IP address of that so that the machine can send the package dest destined to that IP address. And lastly, we have the NetBIOS over TCP IP uh, flag, also enabled, which is the protocol that is used for um, local area networks on Microsoft so that it can broadcast the net BIOS details over the TCP IP network. 
The next command that we should be looking into, it's called ping. Now let me clear the screen. And the ping command, it's a command that is used to verify networking from one system to the other. What it does is sends a sequence of ICMP packets out and wait for them to come back to confirm that there is connectivity. So for example, if you want to ping uh, google.com, we you would enter PING space and then the DNS name of the system you want to connect to. If it's a local system or you know the IP address, you could also enter the IP address instead. So this command, what it will do is again, by default, it will send four packets out and it will wait for confirmation of them back. And it calculates the time for the packets to go back and forward and also displays the, the size of the package and the time to leave, which is a concept in networking uh, where a packet every time it goes through a router the ttl flag or counter gets decreased so that eventually that packet when it reaches ttl equals zero it is discarded out of the network to avoid network congestion and at the end of the pin command you have the statistics about it we can read how four packets were sent Four were received with a 0% loss and the approximate round trip times in milliseconds, the minimum, the maximum, and the average. Again, this is a very useful command uh, where you can determine if there are network disconnects in the case of, you know, like drop packets or if it's a performance related situation where the uh, time of the package is way high or way too high that may affect the networking. An interesting flag of the pin command is the dash T and that is a flag that would allow you to send commands consecutively until you hit control C. So it will continue to send and display the time to leave, uh, the time of the round trip time of the packets and the packet size and then you can um, check for any like network blips or random disconnects or random performance issues connecting from here to google.com. As I said, you do control, hold down control and then C that will cancel that command. One uh, very simple command um, that allows you to display play what is the host name or what is the computer name of the system in question if you're wondering uh, what is the name in the network it's just type in host name if you enter host name windows will display the configure system name or host name of the computer okay let me clear the screen Another very powerful command to monitor networking is called netstat. The netstat command or network statistics is used to check the currently established network sessions and then that it can be used to check if the computer is connecting or not to a particular system. In its basic form, it would display um, the again the established connections uh, in this case TCP protocol only because this is the connection uh, uh, oriented network protocol for the TCP IP stack UDP connections are not present or visible on the netstat command because there is no there is not an active session there so we can see the local address 127.0.0.1, also called the look back address as the source and then the destination address uh, in this case represented in the socket where you have the host name followed by the port number. And then you can see 
how this system is connecting on different multiple ports to multiple systems on the network. I'm going to hit control C and I'll show you one uh, variation of the netstat command or a set of parameters that I like to use. It's uh, the netstat ANO. So in this case, uh, it, it shows you not only the connection, but it also shows you the protocols in question, as well as the um, program ID number in the right. So let me scroll up a little bit so you can go to the beginning of it. So that, as you notice, displays way more information than in the basic form. But you can see the protocol, local address, foreign address, the state of the connection, if it's listening, if it's established, and the PID. So PID, once again, if you were to launch the task manager, you can select uh, the program uh, ID column and determine which program or application it's connecting on this session. So once again, if you are unsure why suddenly you have so many connections on multiple ports on a particular server, you can use this variation and determine what is the uh, problem application. Another um, interesting variation of this command, let's go to the bottom, is I like to do it this way. You do netstat as ANO and then you can um, append this output to the next command which is called find string and then you can look at what whatever you're looking for like if you know for example uh, the program ID say you want to um, find all the active connections of I don't know uh, Skype just to say something you find the Skype program ID and then you can do find string so let me do a quick sample let me pick one of the ones in in the display here I have like um, 15 uh, zero, 060 zero. it will find all the active connections of the particular program ID but uh, the one I like to use more it's you can do this one and then it will show all the established connections uh, at the moment so again, that will show you only the established network connections at a particular point in time. Another very important command for networking is the NSLOOKUP command. The NSLOOKUP, it stands for Name Server Lookup, and it's used to query for a uh, query a DNS server to find a particular host uh, name so that it returns what is the IP address in the DNS database for it. Uh, and a particularity of this command is that it can be run in both interactive and non-interactive mode. So if you were to enter NSLOOKUP and hit enter, it would just um, get into the interactive mode and then you're presented with the prompt where you're supposed to enter commands. If I were to look for, uh, say, Microsoft.com, I would enter something like this. The address that I'm looking for and then hit enter. And in this case, there is no entry for Microsoft.com in my default DNS server. Once again, not using a a write DNS server for this purpose. Now, as a plan B, I can then specify which DNS server should I be requesting this information from. So how do I do that? I just simply enter my uh, host name that I'm querying about, followed by the server name. And one well-known DNS server name uh, in the internet is the Google DNS server, which is 8.8.4.4. If I hit enter now, as you can see, the server in question in brackets is the Google DNS server, and it's providing the information that is in, 
in its database about the Microsoft.com. Another important command in troubleshooting networking is the trace route command. Trace route command uh, will display what are all the routers and or level three switches in between the source machine and a destination um, system on the network. It would display what is the um, performance of the routers in between and what is the round trip time uh, from this system to the intermediate routers. So the way it works is you would enter trace RT and then a destination system. Uh, let's continue with the Microsoft.com example and I will hit enter. And what it will do is it will send uh, three packets to each router and it will display what is the approximately around three time in milliseconds. I will also display what is the um, intermediate uh, router that is serving that request. So for example, from this system, the, my first um, router, which is my home router, is a D-Link router. So the first hope, um, uh, the first hope of the system is from here to that router and then to the second router and then so on up until it reaches the uh, router that is serving uh, Microsoft.com.